What's up surfers, welcome back to Cybo TV. My name is Alex and today we are going through eight pro tips in Subway Surfers to celebrate Subway Surfers eighth birthday. Before we start, don't forget to like this video and leave a comment down below with some of your own pro tips and subscribe to Cybo TV to stay tuned for everything Subway Surfers related. All right, so I get to play a lot of Subway Surfers. I live stream on our YouTube channel. I face off against Adam in our Versus series regularly. And during the lockdown, I've had plenty of time to practice my running. So in order to help you guys hopefully improve your gameplay a bit, I thought I'd share a little bit of my knowledge with you. So let's jump straight into it. Here are eight pro tips that are gonna help you level up your gameplay in Subway Surfers. Tip number one, jump canceling. In Subway Surfers, you can swipe down to cancel your jumps early. So this trick is probably pretty well known already, but it is crucial in helping you improve your gameplay. Jump cancelling increases your vertical mobility, making you able to drop down and pick up power-ups, tokens, or just a few extra coins. Once you equip a pair of super sneakers, the jump cancelling becomes even more important as you need to control your jump arc and your airtime in order to effectively maneuver through the trains. Tip number two, power-ups don't stack. Power-ups don't stack. This one is kind of obvious, but surprisingly impactful to your overall score. So this means if you're stuck between choosing a magnet or a double score multiplier, just go for the one that you don't have. Another fun fact, power-ups don't drain if they're not actively used. So if you've got a hoverboard with a super jump ability, or if you're already up there riding a jetpack, your super sneakers won't drain. Tip number three, explore those rooftops. If you're nimble and a little bit lucky, you might have experienced dropping onto a rooftop or a bridge after your jetpack expired. Well, did you know that you can also get on top of the little tunnel dividers that are dotted all throughout the level? You can even find tokens and power-ups there. It's pretty neat. Tip number four, coins equals points. All right, so if you guys have ever watched an episode of Subway Surfers Versus, you'll probably have noticed Adam and I paying a lot of attention, not only to our points, but also to our coins. That's because coins not only help you buy your favorite characters in the hoverboards, they also increase your score by around 50 points. So if you're trying to bum up that high score, make sure to collect as many of them as you possibly can. Tip number five, super sneakers have magnet soles. A super cool thing that you might not immediately notice about the super sneakers is that they act as a magnet in the lane that you're running in. As long as you jump over it, they can suck up everything from power-ups to coins to tokens. This allows you to be strategic with your movements in those extra tight areas, so you no longer have to risk your life just in order to pick up that final token that you need. Just jump over it with your super sneaks. It's that easy. Tip number six, high grounds is your friend. Like a certain Jedi master, consistently reaching and staying on high grounds is very powerful. It's gonna help you prevent a ton of crashes and it's also gonna give you a clear overview of what's ahead. So when you see those ramps or if you pick up a pair of super sneakers, get on top of those trains and try your damn best to stay up there. Tip number seven, look ahead and plan your route. Some sections of the level can be riddled with barriers, incoming trains, pillars, shrubberies, other various obstacles. That's why it's important for you to plan out which movements you're gonna have to make to get through the upcoming section. Because, let's face it, sometimes having insane reaction times, like your boy, just isn't gonna cut it. <laughs> Tip number eight, find your playstyle. All right, so I've given you guys a bunch of tricks today, but my final and probably most important tip is figure out what makes playing Subway Surfers fun for you. Maybe you're a super in the moment player, living for those clutch plays with split second reaction times. Or maybe you take a more analytical approach, playing safe, staying alive as long as possible and really wrecking that score up. It's all about figuring out your style. Just try out a bunch of different ways to play and compare it with your mates and see what you can teach them and what they can teach you. It makes the game a lot more fun when you've really figured out how you like to run. And that about wraps things up for this video. As always, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment down below with your favorite tip from the video, or if you have your own, comment that. And don't forget to subscribe to Cybo TV to stay tuned for everything Subway Surfers related. Now, until next time, we'll catch you all on the flip side. <laughs>